We just got um, a new J Balvin skin not too long ago. Um, sorry to not do a review on it immediately because I just didn't have the money. So we have the Jurassic J bundle. So we have J um, Balvin Redux with the Jurassic J edit style with the back playing Electro Grin Charger, the Electro Strikers. We have the J Balvin board. And then we have the click click flash emote. And also included with the bundle is this spray, which is pretty sick. Now there was a emoticon in the files for him. I don't know how that's gonna be untamable because there is no cup for him, as well as it's not included in the bundle or anywhere in the shop. So yeah, but that's interesting. So yeah, also if you've noticed my skin, I am using batman the cape crusader pack has returned as well as the last up bundle i will be doing a review on both of those as quickly as possible but for right now we know we are getting it yes let's go to the case of the new j balvin redux or jurassic j bundle that has came out not too long ago couldn't get to the review in time because I didn't have any money, but yeah, so here we are with new J Balvin skin. A lot of people have said online it should have been in itself for the original. At first when I saw it, I was like, eh, I think it's fine as a new skin. But then I discovered by looking at the skin a lot closely that his normal original outfit is on underneath the coat. So now I can understand why people have said that if we can get the nailed it emotes. So as you can see, his outfit is actually on underneath it. His um, whole jumpsuit, the medallion with the um, electric eyes and smile. Yeah, it's literally the exact same outfit underneath. But what makes this outfit different is obviously the color scheme, the coat, and the white hair. And also the, the new shoes? um and Nikes the new shoes as well. So yeah. Are those Nikes or, or am I just stupid? I think they're Jordans, but I think Jordan's um Nike owns Jordan. So yeah. Again, ABS is fine using the dark angular shift wrap because it works. We're gonna do things out of order. We're gonna actually start with the glider. Well next to the glider. Uh, well you you next you're with the glider. Up on the next with the glider. Next with the glider, there we go, the J Balvin board. So it's basically just like the original one, except purples on the on the tip and the back, the actual J Balvin logo, as well as this new contrail. So yeah, one more time. Great deploy, same deploy. Great contrail. So yeah, I'm gonna. So you turn it night time so you can actually see the skin at night as well as the glider. Yep, they got the tip and back end glows, the contro glows. Really nice glider. Except I think the original, like, for looks, this new one is better, but like the original one. Whoops. The original one had uh, like a little jingle at the start, so yeah. Why was I in storm? That was um that was my bad. All right, so All right. pickaxes, as you can see, they visually unequip the off the back one. Have a great contrail, probably gonna be better at night. Yep, you can actually see the electric like things come off of it, kind of like Lachlan's pickaxe. Impact is really good. It's kind of hard to see because it's kind of instant, but um, and also the whole contrail and stuff like that. But yeah, here's the sound of it. Sorry. Sound electric. Oh no! Nah. <laughs> yeah. Emissions. All right, now for the emote, but I'm actually going to turn copyright back on. So yeah, so the click, click, flash emote. I have to find the bootleg one now. 
So that is actually going to be his new song. I don't know if it's out already, but it's click, click, flash. I've listened to a snippet of it. It is the start is just click, click, flash. So, well, actually, it's more clicks than that, but like, yeah. More clicks than that made no sense putting that into a sentence. Well, when he says, oh. you know, click, click. I, I found the bootleg version. I found the bootleg version of that, this one, because <laughs> that's all you got. You gotta <laughs> click, that's it. Oh, you gotta me. click and flash. Also, for some reason, we were in a party real before this that had the grappler in it. I thought it was just an issue with the map. Yeah, the grappler is broken. You don't actually hold, hold anything when you hold it, which is a little odd. But yeah, now to the Jurassic J version of him. So here's the Jurassic J version. Nothing changes besides the helmet. It looks really cool. It's very slim for a helmet. It doesn't block all that much. It definitely blocks a little more than the original one because obviously in the original one it was just his head. But in this one, it has a dinosaur skull on it. The AS does not change that much, but it does cover a little bit more thanks to that. So yeah. Again. I refuse. Block her. Ow! That hurt. Okay, I'm back. I feel like dying. No. I refuse. Anyways, that is, um, that's uh, pretty much it for J Balvin Redux. Now, this is not the end of the video. We're actually going to compare the two J Balvins with each other and see which one is better. So, yeah. So, okay. with J Balvin Redux, um, the pricing for it is 2500 if you can tell from the start of the video, as well as the original J Balvin is 2400 Now, that bugged me at first, but then when I looked at it, J Balvin comes with three items. Well, actually, how do I put it? Three boxes, if you can see from the original. The skin comes with the skin, the backbling, and the pickaxe, which makes it 2000 It also makes it 2000 because of the abstract edit styles. So, yeah. But with this one, the pickaxes are separate, which would surprise me because, as you saw from the gameplay, it does visually unequip off the backlink, so I felt like they should have included the skin and made it the same price as the original J Battle skin, but they did not. Then, yeah. But besides that, the Jurassic J bundle is a lot more expensive by 100 V-Bucks for it, so yeah. Now, to the comparison for two of them, in my, this is my own opinions. I'm going to try and get some like a perspective of a normal fortnite player if they didn't own any of these so in my opinion for looks i think the j balvin redux looks a lot better i'm a little biased because i enjoy black and purple it's a very great color scheme in this game but for value i would think the original j balvin would be a lot better for value if we're just talking this skin it is 2000 and you get three um you get two abstract edit styles we have the original, if you're a huge fan of J Balvin or just really like his work, you can go with this one. But if you don't like J Balvin or you just don't like the normal end style, you can go with the Enigma uh, Balvin or the Skeleton Balvin, which doesn't even look like him at all. Obviously, you have the medallion, which is his logo and such like that, and also his kicks. But hey, what mainly is going on is it doesn't look like J Balvin like this. So yeah. For value, definitely the original is a lot better than the new one. Yeah. And overall, for the cosmetics that came with them, the accessories, it's kind of a bit mixed. I think the J this new J Balvin feels like a J Balvin collab, specifically because of the pickaxes, because they look like his the logo, like as you can see on the eyeballs on his um, logo, there's electric eyes on the smiley face. And these could be like the same thing going on. But, but with the original, the pickaxes and the backlink didn't really match J Balvin. I don't watch or listen to J Balvin, so I, I don't know if I could say that he, he likes Katana. He probably does, but like, I feel like this doesn't really match the vibe of J Balvin, but it is really cool, these two cosmetics. And then for the emotes, 
They're both good in their own way. Click click flash could probably get annoying after a while with the click click flashes. But with the in the party one, it's reversal and it's a very catchy beat. So yeah, if I had to recommend, if you owned none of them, I would definitely go with the Redux version. And maybe if you want to, you could have bought buy the um, emote for the other one. I that that's fine. But if you already own the original like me, I think it's not worth getting in that regard unless you are a collector like me and you want to get it. But that's really about it. The only thing I would recommend to get if you did own the original is the emote because emotes you can use at any time as well as it's pretty much it's pretty much a banger. So yeah. But do I recommend you get this? Yes, if you don't own the original. But if you do own the original and you're more content with it and really enjoy the skin, there's no point getting this new version. It's literally the same thing except the coat, the purple and black color scheme, the white hair, and the new Jordans. So that's about it. But the emo, definitely get that if you already own the original J Balvin. But that's really it for the, um, the review, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next one, guys. Peace.